This is the Hardball Gets AFL Show. My name's Nick Rin, joined by Xavier Ellis and Ryan Daniels. Gentlemen, what's going on? Well, I just had another half an hour at reception waiting for my swiper to be delivered to me, but... Uh, oh, it's, it's in train. It's in train. Is that you a, still don't uh, have it. It's coming. Have you put the order in? I've, uh, I've sent an email and I haven't followed up the email yet. Well, that's your I job today. I haven't response to the email. Okay, it's on my, it's on my list. You've got to Mate, understand. It's on my list on a Monday. You've got to understand. This is the most, the busiest man... In this building. I don't have time, I don't have time to hang my 10 out the front. Can, my head's in AFL Cairns, AFL Sydney, Achuka, yeah. everywhere. We're well, all Paul, over put place. your head in getting me a swiper. Because <laughs> every day I walk in and security's like, what are you doing? I was like, mate, I'm here three times a week. Just <laughs> let me in. You know who you need, Rebecca. She's gone. That's the problem. Yeah, so the, the uh, harshest security guard in the world, tough as nails, Rebecca, but would not l- let no. a small child in to find their parent, but loved Zave. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> but just took to him like anything. Yeah, you go through, Zave. You do no, it. Because I remember when you were saying she was as tough as nails and yeah. rigid and nothing gets through the keeper. I was like, no, we're not talking about the same person here. Yeah. Somebody yeah. brought a puppy in once on like a Sunday, right? She a shot puppy it. to come in and shut. She stormed. The, the 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 area like a drill sergeant look at animals was, out. I'm amazed she didn't kill the puppy. She, she got the puppy it. out straight out. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the it's not the Rebecca now. I know. Place of business. <laughs> she treated you like a little uh, puppy. Yeah, I would say too. I said to Josh on the way just before. Bit of a colder sort of um, office space at the moment. Do you I say hello to everybody. Even when I'm like walking through the streets or yep. um, yeah. doing my hill, I always say hello to everyone I walk past, especially yeah, okay. if it's like one on one. Yeah, you know, if you, if there's a hundred people around, you're going fast paced. Sure, of course. But when I'm walking, I, I don't get a hello from anyone. Really, don't no you? one. Do you think that's a this building thing, or is it a are you out? Is it is it a Zave? No, gone? but I say hello to everyone <laughs> at the normal workplace. Everyone. Yeah. No, Oh, no, he's here again for yeah. a chat. I don't know. I keep so there's that, that. Like, there's, that's that's is that, is that, be, that bloody Mad Monday, I'm boy? just saying, if you link the dots right, <laughs> Mad Monday, you do a few episodes, doesn't get taken. Nick goes for your past, doesn't come through, oh, well, right? Yeah. And now suddenly no one's saying hello. I, I'm just reading the play. I'm just oh, saying. We're in tra- hey, what do you think hey, we're in trouble as a collective? Or hey, you're telling me I'm off the hook. <laughs> I'm just saying you might be off the hook. <laughs> you might be off the hook. And obviously he started to change his well, image. He's like, I can't look the same. I've been hanging. No, he's, he's the shirt. Tuck in. Shirt I've in. got the shirt. Tuck. And think about it too. We've been talking about something that we're trying to get back. The song, very expensive. Nick and I have mentioned that the one way to get that song is maybe. Oh, yeah, Zay, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm just well, joining I'm dots. That's all I do as a journalist. We do like the new song. New song pops. The dots. So, so what about pops? I like it. I don't like. It as much as the old song. Yeah. That's the problem. I can't get it back, but I do. Yeah. I do like it. What about old Rhino's dressed up? You, you're not at all. Slob. But, Thanks. Did you but, iron but that? But Rhino's dressed up today. Iron your polish. Yeah. And I was leaving today, and Em was talking to me, and this is how I was coming to work. Slob. You look like Nick. <laughs> you got a? Is that a wee stain? <laughs> Did you wet your pants? <laughs> you have to change your pants. <laughs> yeah. Are they the shorts? No. Yeah, they're different shorts. They're different shorts. <laughs> Did you wear yourself? <laughs> You're a disgrace. <laughs> it was either we or it was like oil from a spring roll or something. Oh, yeah. What? A dim sim. Unbelievable. Now, I've actually got some... Uh, I've got what something th- to address. What do you think it is? Oh, That's that does we. Like piss. That's we. You know, you can, you got to shake three times. What are you just oh, putting it straight least, back in? I just wasn't paying attention. I tell you, my son now, in. I'm like three shakes and then you put it away because he would just put it away. And yeah, that's yeah. what he ends up with a little <laughs> wee stain. Or he shakes too many times, then we've got different problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, well, well. It's three shakes few and you're years, out. Few years left. Um, now, I, good show last week. I was listening. I had, I had a good listen. I okay. Liked it. Did you like Particularly it? Particularly like one of the questions at the end. That's very I'm glad mine was got that came from you, didn't it? Yeah. No, I mean, what the guy's name was about him being the glue guy. Being the best glue guy in the business. Oh, the glue guy. Yeah, I loved it. Was that? So it was you. Now, but also, I need to mention, so you were away last week. I was away last and week. And we put in the group chat, uh, we need someone to fill in, Nick's away. And he wrote in the chat. Yeah. Personal reasons. Yeah, sorry, guys. Personal, personal. things just come up. It sounded, I was worried. No, so we're all in here going, Was it a family reason? Family, family, fa- family reason. Family reasons just came out of nowhere. And we're like, shit, I hope so, Nick's okay. Someone's sick or <laughs> someone's passed. Yeah. I rang you out the goodness of my heart on Friday or Thursday. Yeah. Hey, mate, just check in. How's the family? I didn't want to ring because I thought, yeah. if it's really bad, I don't want to overstep. Well, you let me put my foot in I'll it and see what's going on. <laughs> he goes, oh, no, I've been on holidays for two nights. Late just... family thing. Yeah, late family gathering. 
Mate, oh, that's no. It's that, called holidays. No, you just say, guys, just having a couple of days <laughs> away with the kids or something. You don't he dramatize. Did pop up the last minute. Late family. Well, sorry, yeah, it wasn't a family. deliberate. That could be anything. It wasn't it's deliberately misconstrued. Yeah. I just had a late. Mate, I don't order your leave, mate. Just be a, honest with me. Late He's, chance to get a couple of days in Barcelona. It was very nice, actually. I like. I Barcelona. bet it was. Yeah. Very nice. Get a shelter brewing. Okay, I got, got, got a new hat. A couple of beers. Okay. Yeah, yeah good I for you. It. I did actually like shelter brewing. Next time, can you just give us some clarity on that, guys? Heading down to Busso for a couple of days. Robbo's yeah. going to step in. Maybe yeah. just something along those That's lines. That's it. It's not hard. You know, we're people too. Well, everyone else was late. I was, I was ready on the Monday. Everyone else was coming back from Gather Round. We, I was we back. were catering for Rhino's late flights. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did have some, some good intel out of Gather Round. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, most people, you know, when you're a team, like let's say the Channel 7 sport team, you know, yeah. you've got your camera people, Anna Hayes over there. We'll randomly Brian pick Daniels Channel 7. Over there. Yeah. Anna Hayes, um, two camos. Yeah, yeah everybody's there. You know, yeah. it's a bit of bond. Like everybody get together on let's the road. Let's go get a feed or let's get a beer. each other. Yep. You know, really get together. Um, going with probably this? stay in the same hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Do you reckon, um, <laughs> so you're saying, you know, budget accommodation, times are tight, advertising market's not what it once was. No, but also you don't need to stay anywhere luxurious. You're just there no, to, just read, just there to read the sport. But do you reckon, no. um, so you reckon everyone will stay like the same spot, right? It's easy. You Team get community. Uh, and and uh, look, I'm open to even jumping in, sharing a sharing an apartment. Sharing a room. With, yeah. yeah, with a camo, you know, two, two singles. No, yeah. two singles, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. how was, is that, is that what happened? Is that how it went down, Ryan? Well, clearly you, you have already done your research. <laughs> no, look, I don't book the hotels. So every Everybody no. staying in one hotel. Ray, the camera a, people. Ray, our news director, his assistant Toby, books the hotels. She may have booked a slightly nicer hotel for myself and <laughs> you. And, and one of the camos, so he was oh, with me. Oh, okay. So Josh was with my, my camo. And so then Anna, Anna. Anna and Nick were in a slightly further away... You would, Okay, off the was, beaten track? I would call it a studio sort of situation <laughs> where they had one room with a toilet slash laundry slash... Kitchen, whereas we had a few rooms and nice and spacious. But did you share a room? Did you share a room? No, 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 no my own space, little balcony. So just what was it? What was the driving time between the two? Oh, well, you I, don't I, know just, the to this well I would just walk to the Oval. It was about seven hundred meters. They clearly had to. <laughs> <laughs> clearly had to drive. That's so unfair. I, look, I, don't, I don't book it. I don't get book Ray it. on the phone now. <laughs> I need to bring it up. Very much looking forward to the grand finals staying at the Hyatt, too. Very nice. Ever since oh, he's, he's been well at the Hyatt, he's been tucking the shirt. Uh, yeah, yeah well, you've, got to tuck it, you've got to tuck it at the Hyatt. Mm. Yeah. Do you use um, Dennis's driver? What was his name? Like he's a chef, uh, like very Dennis. No, around? I don't get a drive. No, we well, camo drives because they they oh, we get a car when we get there and then yeah. they drive. Yeah. Anything else you got? Throw no, me that's all I got. I, I don't choose. I don't make the decisions. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I just okay, think that's okay. unfair on Anna. To be honest with you. Oh, she was fine. It was good for her to get away on a trip, you know. Like, so she, don't you speak for it. When, when I started out, when I started out, I was staying in bloody backpacker joints and behind service stations in Lake Grace. This, I'll tell you what, this place didn't have a lock mm. on the door, and you you slept on top of the bed because you want to touch the sheets. You know what? So actually, you know, I did it tough in my. You know day. the one spot that surprised me over the years of going to those, you know, having out of the way, slightly dodgy accommodation. The one I really liked, and I didn't have high expectations for, was Hall, the Halls Creek. It was like Halls Creek Hotel. Oh, or oh that's oh. not the photo, is it? Uh, it, it that's it, not the photo. photo. Funny, funny, that, funny, that, funny that Nick's brought up the Halls yeah. Creek story. No, again. Yeah, doing there. For anyone who hasn't heard this 6,000 yeah. times, Nick once went on a... He once uh, wrote once, a story. Once took a did a story. I did two stories out of that. I did a TV and one, do you know, too. Do you know what he's mad at? The reason he keeps bringing this up is because mm. he went up there... It was a good yarn. And good it pictures. was uh, Petreski Seaton was yeah, the main yarn. Actually, and, yeah, funnily enough. And he did an interview with him, right? Did a TV story. Yeah. First TV story he's ever put to air. Very excited. I helped him with it, manicured mm. Did Sam Petreski get delisted, by the way? Yeah. So he's still there. Uh, yeah, no, he's, he's, gone. he's gone. I don't know where he's playing. So he was up and about. He thought it was an award-winning story. He submitted yeah. it for the awards. Didn't win. Got robbed. Got he robbed. Got robbed that Scared year. Scared he got me. Good pitches. Um, but he's been flat about it ever since. Been I went into that awards and I think you know I was coming away with six. You did you? Came away two. What'd you get? Oh, you got two. two. I, got two. I was happy, but was I, you that, know, I was really. Hold on, was that the one where you bought your missus? No, no, she came to it like one of the first ones. Because you know, if you're bringing your missus, you think you're going to go. Because okay? no one brings their partners to these. Yeah. No one wants to come. No, nah, she came to you one of the in, first ones. Out. They they learn pretty quick. Like yeah, it's you boring. Feel, yeah, when yeah. you're in, you have to put your missus comes and then you have to submit the stuff yourself. Uh, yeah, generally. Yeah. And then you get um, a nominated trouble, I have trouble with that. Usually. Or someone could submit on your behalf. Mm. Yeah. I'm about to submit for the radio awards, the Acras, um, my 40 metre sprint race against the Dash Hounds. Oh, yeah. Love it. What's yeah. that go in? Like best, like colour piece? or Colour piece or something. Is there like a stupidity category? Something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. A, a human versus animal category. Animal yeah. related. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. That was actually good radio. It was good. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't think anyone's a winner today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
All right, well, should we just get into it? Is anyone yeah. got anything else to table? Uh, I think we've covered everything possible. Right. Well, who's got GWS? Kick it off there. It's top uh, of the ladder. I've got the Giants. Oh, we're doing the ladder? Yeah. Okay. Descending ladder. All right. Descending ladder. Okay, so the Giants. Now, unfortunately for the Giants, we spoke last week about uh, their, fi- their big five. Oh, yeah. We've lost two of them. We've lost two of them. <laughs> hey, were you watching the game when Sam Taylor went down? Yeah, and what, we, so. what were you thinking? The very first instance, I actually thought he was having like, some a kind seizure of or something. seizure. Yeah. Because his eyes sort of went straight back and then the yeah. legs started shaking. I noticed they didn't show it, which was, no. you know. And it, the coaches were on the field, which I know it's changed a little bit these days. Because well, I went to Kingsley and he's sort of rubbing his head and I yeah. thought, geez, that doesn't look good. But mm. all accounts is he was up and about, obviously clearly. Uh, yeah, a nice photo scans. on socials. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we know him. He's a lovely kid and obviously a fantastic player. And just in that moment, you're thinking, no. It's a, that is the only real time that you think about contact sport. Yeah. I don't care too much for a, a broken leg or a broken yeah, ankle. That, that's or stuff that happens. A broken arm. Yeah. Yeah, that's contact sport. But when they're out, out, yeah. not too dissimilar yeah. to the Fremantle player against Brisbane who uh, yeah, the halfback. caught the hip and was out for Warner. a long, long time. Carl oh, yeah, Carl Warner. Yeah, that, that, that's another one where you go, geez, that's actually mm. football. Uh, how much damage? What, what do you think? I know head stuff's very different. I, I would say Sam Taylor won't play for a couple of weeks in a minimum. Yep. Uh, but then yeah. you lose Cornelio as well. Or is it just as simple as Josh Kelly? Well, no, I mean, it definitely brings him closer to the pack. Yeah. I mean, the, we said that two of their A-graders are gone mm. um, for the short term. So Cornelio, oh, I'm not up to date on this, but not a knee no, by the like sounds of it. No, two weeks. It's like a, a medial oh, strain. That is so lucky. It's so <coughs> lucky. Yeah. Um, so that, it's a loss, but it's not, you know, long term. It's, it's not going to hurt them for long term. In, in some ways, it, it can help them, right? Well, there's Carlton, yeah. Brisbane, Sydney. Wow, tough three weeks. Tough three weeks. Yeah, okay. Well, it definitely brings them back to the pack slightly. But <coughs> to me, they're still the best team. And I think it's one of those years where we have a clear best team. Okay, it's a clear best team. Don't you think? Well, yeah. I tend to I agree, so. yeah. Yeah, I think there's a gap. <coughs> All right, Geelong. Now, I'm getting very close to eating the humble pie. Uh, oh, yeah. Very hey. close. I'm not there just yet, though. Okay. I'm not there just not yet. Because, you can see. Well, Five because, and I, I mean, it's a yeah, reasonable okay. start. <laughs> yeah. right now, uh, uh, let me rattle off the teams they've beaten and where they are on the ladder. St Kilda. Good team. 12th. Good team. They're 12th on the ladder. Yeah, yeah but that's a, a good team. They're 12th because they got beaten by Geelong, who are a very okay. good team. Yeah. Adelaide, they're good, 14th. Good team. 14th. Big, yeah. big win on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 14th on the ladder. Here we come. Hawthorne. Uh, buddy, well, look, growing in the season. 17th on the ladder. The Western Bulldogs. Grow, 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 grow um, pains. They're their good's good. Yeah, yeah. They're 11th on the ladder. Yeah. And Grand then finals. North Melbourne, who are 18th on the ladder. Well, they have look, not played, so, no, they've not played a single team that's in the top 10. What about old Dockerhead here, when the Dockers were 3-0 and oh, and the teams they'd played against were all 0-3? Oh, okay, all right. And, and the guy was like, oh, it doesn't matter, mate. You're just going to put the foot on the throat where you put it down. This is presenting you with facts here. Five teams not in the top 10. Now, that's because they get Pumped by Geelong and then they get, <laughs> yeah, they get percentage damage. Yeah. Now, the next four, huge. You mentioned GWS. Yeah. They got Brisbane. Where they got, that'd be uh, awesome Gabba. That's, that's at the Gabba. Yeah. Carlton and Melbourne are both at the MCG. No, Carlton and Melbourne light work at the moment. Win win. Okay. And then Port Adelaide in Geelong. So it's not a super, super tough fixture because of where mm. they're playing, but those are four teams that you would expect to be playing finals. If they t- a bit like Freo and Carlton recently, the last two weeks, they get through that middle patch, 2 and 0. I reckon those four happy, games. Happy days. If they're, if they're, even if they're two and two coming out of that, then that's, so that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah two and two. Then yeah. they're seven Win and two coming two. out of that. Um, I will say the, the guys who have impressed me are the guys who have been sit, waiting in the wings: Holmes, Brune, yeah. Bose, Parfit. No, like, great. Because like the reason I was concerned was I think Danger's going to drop off. Well, he kind of he played well and then he got injured. Yeah. Hawkins hasn't been at his best, even though he's been fine. And, and Duncan, been and Duncan's been the same. He hasn't been at his best, but he's been fine. Cameron, Myers, Holmes. and Stewart mm. have been outstanding. Um, all and three a, of those it's guys. It's the weight of numbers with those guys through the mid, right? None of them are stars no, in their own no, right. No. But Holmes all has been the best so far good. out of all of them. Um, yeah. And he can play anywhere. We really like him. Grian Myers. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, what's going on there? <sighs> I love watching him. I love watching him. Um, Port Adelaide. Now, I blame Josh Gallup for that loss for Fremantle. He did a video at... during the week with Horn Francis and Bergman. Did you see it? They both step it's up. Very and it's very good. Uh, it's okay, quite a bit. Well, you know how the, the, I think it's the advertiser a couple they of times got them? Bergman and Horn Francis wrong on the paper? It's on the front page. Oh, really? Yeah. Is correct. It's yeah. a bit like um, Staples at uh, West Coast. Oh, they, Adam Adam Simpson. Simpson. They, they keep posting yes. photos of steaks <laughs> I saw that. as it's Simo. And they do, he's got his head down. Yeah, do they not know it's not Simo? He's a grey fella. <laughs> yeah. I um, saw that. That's yeah. very good. Um, 
Yeah, no, no, that's a very good check. It's probably it's probably one of his best videos, I reckon. I really enjoyed it. But those both those players stepped up for late goals against Fremantle, so it just pissed me off, and I'm blaming him for it. Bergman looks like a, a lad you'd like to marry your daughter. I don't yeah. know him, never yeah, met him. Good, good he kid. just looks like a nice I kid. I would mm. say if they were twins and, and they were presenting to you, you'd much rather your daughter marrying Bergman than Horn Francis. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. I, I'm saying, as a, as, a, as a father of a daughter, Why is that? in 20 years, if you had the, I just You're reckon Horn Francis is a little bit scruffier. Changes his mind after a right, year. Just okay. Bergman looks like he combs his hair. You okay. know, like, that's, he, does, he washes it pre-game all the time. I'm not saying he's a better human. Wow. They just present differently. And if they both walked in, I would probably judge the book by the cover straight away. Yeah. And I'd get to know Jason, of course, if he, you know. If I'm getting a bit seven. fast forwarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, no one knows. Oh, until she's 37. <laughs> yeah. So, we talk about those three mids at Port Adelaide. There's a bloke averaging 21 disposals, six tackles, five clearances this year in the midfield. Who do you think it is? Willem Drew, is it? Willem Drew. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he's really like, he's that kind of defense. He's in the, the, others he's in the, the leadership stars. group. Is Underrated. Good, a good tough ranger. It's like Pretty the um, sure Queensland State of Origin sides through the nineties. You need one good tough ranger. <laughs> you need He's a tough guy one. who, yeah. when everyone at the start of the year, and I'm talking, you know, I'm not so, not just being rude here, casuals. When they'll go the best twenty two, and they'll go, ah, oh, this player and Drew's out because you yeah. know because yeah, no, Wines is in, Horn Francis is yeah. in, but he's not. He's always in there, and, and uh, every team needs a Willem yeah. Drew. There was he's, a, he had more, and he's, he's, he's starting more CBAs than Horn Francis. Yeah, well, he has a job there. there. No, but there's a stat too, and they said it on the weekend. When he's in there, their win percentage is like number one in the competition yeah, or right. something like that. But then the commentator slaughtered it by saying they're 37 times more likely to win the clearance. And I was like, what? You're <laughs> telling me they've only been running 37 when he's not? <laughs> like, can't be right. Yeah, that's Otherwise, something. you'd be getting 100. Yeah, that's so correct. When he's in there, win 237 a game. Uh, uh, Sydney. Uh, Sydney, okay. I just want to quickly say... Give them the bullet. I'm sick of these teams being on oh. buys. Oh. Their injuries are whatever. Give Early them the bullet. bullet. Okay. Done. Early bullet. Sure. Are we not mucking around with buys? We're either? last no. buys right now. Last buys? Yeah, this is Coming the last, the last one coming ones. up. Melbourne and Richmond. And then we'll run into the middle season one. Speaking of mm. Melbourne, I would have bulleted them, but I lost the chance just then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, two things I do want to talk about, and I think we touched on this last week. When they don't have Cozzy Pickett, they're not a great side. He is so important to what they do. They're zero and two without him. Small sample size, but four and zero with him. Well, they don't I just forwards think, a pop. Well, their forward otherwise. line is is pretty average, very average anyway. Without Pickett causing a little chaos in there, I just think they look mm. so bland and so ordinary. I just think him getting rubbed out every now and then. It just can't happen for him if they want to be a great it's side. It's been three times in twelve months, I think. Yeah, he, he's mm. got to take that Stop out of his game. Jumping into I, people's heads. I, yeah, I am way more concerned about. Other parts of that team. Well, so I want to talk about Clary. That's right? what I was going to mention. Mm. I think they're full. I think the off seasons of not being doing the full pre season. It's caught, caught up. up. So first two games, thirty touches, 35, 32 and a half average. And I, from memory, his first game he wasn't superb. He was. No, it's good though. Was which one of those two games he was okay? But he the first one. Yeah, first one. The, then the next four he's gone 23, 25, 16 and start, eighteen. Started on the bench too on the weekend. Yeah. He started there the week before. He's. 20 and a half disposals in his last four, and he doesn't look fit. No. And that's because he didn't really have a preseason. No. So it's starting to have an impact now. It's impacting the rest of the midfield. I, I agree. Reckon, like a Sparrow is having a pretty good year. Mm. And it's almost like with Clary there, it's taking away from a bit of him. Well, I expect more from Viney. Viney's down. Yeah. Petrarca's sort of okay, but. Well, Petrarca's had a good year, but he's been out of the midfield a bit, and then. I don't like it. Oh, mate, so the, yeah, I, I'm concerned that they've maybe run into a. Very tough patch of football, yeah. and I, I think they're certainly not playing their best. I heard Jake Lever say, "Was it after a win or a loss?" And he was like, "That nah, was the win." And he was like, "Yeah, we, we're still not doing what we want to do mm. yet. We're still not they, doing it." So they're that's into telling. Richmond, Geelong, Carlton, West Coast. Uh, so that's two that's very strange. winnable games two in there, winnable and games. two tough ones. So yeah. I, look, I think they'll play finals. Uh, uh, you know, last week after that win, we're all going, "Hey, are they the team? Are they yeah, the team?" Yeah, yeah. It's easy how quickly we can f- talk ourselves out and into Melbourne, and I think that's why because of the forward line, and B because of the Clary situation. Mm. Uh, Carlton, geez, Matthew, what part of the foot did that connect with Matthew? Always that like dribble shot on goal late to win that just. Went about a metre and a half. Oh, oh geez, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, to yeah. win but yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. win. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't work out how it went. I don't know. Yeah. What about the, the commentary to too? The commentators really worked themselves into a moment <laughs> and they're like, oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah There's yeah, nothing worse than that. Yuck. Pump um, the tyres. But uh, I just wanted to talk about the midfield rotation. So Walsh went in, but it was pretty much, so I broke down sort of who was starting at most what, of the centre What's happening here? Is this, um, well, Have you noticed something? 
I'm relaxed. He's, he's, yeah. he's taking up the weed. He's in Something's his own. Something's going on because he's suddenly bringing out research yeah. and numbers yeah, but, uh, and this and that. Maybe it was family reasons. He's been kicked out of home. <laughs> yeah, he's going to find himself is a rental. Uh, <laughs> so, but it was pretty much uh, Cripps, Hewitt, Walsh, every set of bounce. And then like small ca- cameos of Carol, Kennedy, um, and uh, Cherry didn't play. Hollins. Right, Cherry was And then this out. is my question. Because well, Walsh came in, there hasn't been a, a game this year with Chera and Walsh. Mm. So do you just like obviously one of those guys can bump out, but do you leave those guys in? How, like what do you well, Walsh, do? Walsh is an A grader, so he has to stay. Yeah, so the, what do you the, do with Chera? Well, you can go well. Hewitt as the Hewitt's the grunt. Hewitt's but, the Drew. He, he, yeah. can go, he can go wing. Although wing. Hewitt, did you see that footage of him letting Isaac Rankin just Rankin just Rank. walk? I've had a complaint from someone. This. Nick Nick thinks he Nick gets far too fancy wrong. on Isaac Rankin's name. It's Rankin. Oh. Way too fancy. I just say Rankin. I don't and know. And they why go it's for someone someone cerebral. who claims him to be their boy. He probably should start and saying that's true. You should his get name his, right. This is my problem because right. I knew him before people knew his name. Oh, so yeah, no but, one didn't know. Correct pronunciation. Paul's correct or something. Yeah, he, he was in the back of the car. He was in the back. He was hiding. No, but he seemed to just let him walk towards the goal. They just that, that no, stoppage. I didn't see it, but so the second last goal, the yeah. stoppage. He was mining him in the Ford fifty, and he just let. Not massive Rankin on Carlton at the moment. No, I, there's still a step off, but I have a little bit more respect. You just they just have two of the best forwards in the game, so yeah, get it in there and they'll do it, do something. To me, it's still a team led by talent. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Fremantle Football Club. This would be interesting. I, I thought I'd walk in today and I'd have a nice. Uh, Little carton of beer sitting here on the table, just the nice little twenty-four cans. It just doesn't happen. Or well, didn't we decide to? Didn't we double it down or something? Didn't no. We? I know no. you said you texted me and said I just got the one in the middle. I'll wait for the Geelong one. You know, then if it's no, I did I said pay me now and I'll give you a chance to win another one back at some stage. <laughs> did you? Yes. I thought you said no. Wait for the Geelong no. results, so then I can have two cards in no. case it's break even, and then you have to go buy me one. No, it's no, a no, no, no. Geez, no, no. I was flat at teams. Oh, yeah. oh, it was so flat. Um, <laughs> yeah. But interesting enough, uh, Cubs wrongs in out comes in every week, and him and I are not at back and forth or whatever. But I, I'm pretty clear that Darcy and Jackson. Yep. I think Jackson both both Hold exceptional. On, Nick, t- Nick, what's about to happen here? We can is, talk about both. No, no. Is, no, that, no. is that Xavier is going to, in some small way, admit that he was wrong? No, no, no. no, no both exceptional talents. Oh, really? No, Darcy, best and first, 21, 22, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, around there. Uh, and then obviously Jackson. I think Jackson will play his best football in the ruck. But Caleb, oh, here it Caleb is. Here it is. has gone at me a few times saying, you've never seen Jackson play forward properly, like as a yeah, forward. Yeah. They've kicked 63 points, 63 points, 69 points the last, uh, that's the old-fashioned dinner for two, uh, <laughs> the last three weeks. I think Jackson might be the answer yeah. to, oh. hang on, to getting to 80 points, yes. not to being a star They're forward. They're a better side. Okay. Jackson, it, Jackson could be a better player as a ruckman, but Fremantle are a better side with him forward. Yeah, I just think that... Mate, they still need a forward, a genuine out and out forward. Are you okay? Yeah, you feeling all right? Watch those shorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the jury is now out. Okay. Because they can't score. They can't De- score. Defense is great. Mm. Midfield's top eight, but yeah, it, a yeah. lot of good teams have good midfields. Long me at post game, and he said, "What happens with Jackson is he takes the best defender." Yeah. So Amos has been getting smacked by Weedering and Alir Alir and, and all he's these still blokes. Still like not a big fella. He's not. He's twenty. So he needs, he's to, get, 20. He needs to get moving. There. He's yeah. twenty. He can't so have six touches. You put seven Jackson touches. up there. All of a sudden, I do feel like the game is passing Matt Tabner by. Mm. So you're replacing Jackson in there, and Tabner's coming out of it. That's a big change. It's a big shift. And if Darcy's fit enough, there's a good week for him to come back in because he'll play Bailey with him. So yeah. Mm. He, he can, on his day, can go okay. He can go okay, but yeah. it's not like he's coming up against Max Gorn. Yeah. You know. What I mean? Yeah. Um, Tim English chasing okay, him. Okay. Gold Coast Suns. That's me. Oh. Hey, our man Closey. Again, yes. Scott again. No, no, we can't call him out, man. The Barlow's man. No, we have to give it to Barlow. Well, funny yeah. you say that because Barlow's babies is what the Herald Sun have him as. Uh, is it? Well, what <laughs> I've, I've done, what I've done is I've gone actually back and I thought uh, the, the only man who can think of mature age has come in and been like this. Yeah, is, Mick is Barlow. Me. So I went back just to just to see what the numbers were. Oh, that nice. was good. So the first two games for Closey, he's averaged twenty touches, eight marks, and a goal and a half. Yeah. very good. Playing yeah. on a wing half back sort of bit. Uh, Barlow, unbelievable. First game, 33 touches, six marks and two goals. Then he's come out with 34, 
eight and a goal. So in his first two, 33 and a half, seven marks and a goal and a half. Got two Brownlow mm. votes in his second mm. game. We've never seen another and, Michael Barlow. And it's what Frio needed at the time, yeah. too. Like they, it they, was. They had the class. It was yeah. a bit of a ball. I remember that game. Is it Morabito? Is that Morabito's debut as well? And he's, he kicked one from 60. This Mick Barlow came from nowhere and had 30. Uh, I was very excited. Well, I was high. Um, fan. But great, great start to his career from Closey. Um, that's, he's going to, as I said last week, he's going to be in that team for a long time. Will Graham, the other one, playing yeah. his second game, 14 tackles. No one talks about him. There was Reed and Walter and Rogers, who were the Graham, academy picks early. They were the early he ones. He was the fourth academy pick, pick 26. Mm. So it's still pretty early. So uh, this is unusual, this. This is this is back-to-back by me. I think I'm wrong on the Suns. Oh, oh geez. Yeah, because yeah, I locked him in his unders and said, I'm Tell you st- what, he pisses his pants once and that's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, they, they do look okay, don't well, they? Well, they just... That's what a, a pretty good side should do. Just put 50 points put on the side. Well, we'll get to Hawthorne in a minute. But um, Noah Anderson as well, just a shout-out to him. That was an incredible game against this team that he probably almost could have played for just yes. a couple yes. more games and he would have been a father-son. Yeah. 36, eight marks, eight tackles and a goal. Clearly yeah. best on ground. We talk a lot about Matty Rowe. We talk a lot about Flanders and, I mean, Closey. But Noah is having a really good start is to he, his... Is he a 1A? We still haven't worked out if they have one of those yet. I don't know, do you? But I think if... If it is, it's probably him. I think Noah's got a really good chance to get there. You reckon he's still got the ceiling? I he's really like there. him. He's still yeah. No, no, I don't not like him. I don't not like him. Hey, yeah, woo, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Well, hate, yeah. So you hate Noah yeah. Anderson? Nah, he's old man to Riffa too. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Mac Andrew too, jeez. Who we got next? Uh, Essen oh, sitting go. in ninth. The bullets are now, up. Oh, God, I'm just going to yeah. apologise again here. <laughs> yeah. That's three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're Not wrong about long. Uh, Great for the engagement when you have a, a big uh, take like that and then they come out and <laughs> smash yeah, everybody. No. But I don't know. It's, I think that... I'm, they're going to hate me here too, but I, like I think it says more about the Western Bulldogs than it does Essendon, Oof. right? Um, Essendon is still... Like, no, no, I reckon you tip your hat to Essendon. You can't, you can't overlook... They piled on what... Seven goals in a row or something at one stage. Went I could bang. not believe. Stringer, Stringer was oh, Stringer's good for some reason. Oh, 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 it? Someone Where responded to Hardball Gets and said, you know, Jake Stringer, uh, under, oh, yeah. the, under the roof, Bulldogs, Essendon, third contract quarter, year. someone oh, needs con- to win it. Contract year. And up comes Jakey Stringer and then bang on because that's that's exactly what he does. Yeah, yeah. That, that was made for Jake Stringer that moment. Um, so yeah, just a, a slight sidetrack. From the game, uh, just a parish uh, follow-up, 13.4 metres per disposal, so he's trending up. Oh, did he get uh, okay. He's trending up. No, he doesn't look... It's a long handball. He's not covering the ground well, because I'm watching no. him closely, because I I felt bad after pointing out 51 metres last time. I had yeah. interest on him at the disposal line, and he's, just is, not, he's not moving well at all. If he didn't all. get as much of it, like we wouldn't think about him as much, yeah, but he gets so much of it... Well, he, hasn't, it he hasn't yet. Yeah, just hasn't have, have like 18 and just yeah. go, all right, <laughs> we, won't meet, we won't talk about it. Hey, there's someone that we should tip our hat to, too. Xavier Dersma. Yeah. yeah, I reckon he's had a couple yeah. of good back-to-back games. He has, he has. And, and he got a lot of heat from. It's a bit of bit Port of fitness, bit of fans. love. Yeah, I think that he, he, when he started, he was included in the mm. Connor Rosie and Zach Butters and Xavier Dersma. They're the big three. Yeah, and then obviously he got left behind. Dropped um, a few times, but he's he's showing that he's going to be an. A good player. Is it his little brother? I think he's got another. Is there another yeah, brother coming there's, through? There's who's Zane a, at North, and then there's a third one who, oh, who's as he's usual, in? he's the best one. No, yeah, 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 it's always the way. There's um, always, they always go a level. Real up. concern about Brad Scott's comments on ABC Radio about Taron Thomas. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it. He just I said did he's say a, that, yeah. He's a really good young man. Everyone deserves a so second chance. Do we chance. think that Essendon's going to get Taron Thomas? Yeah, yeah. It, it's looking like he's trying to set the foundation for that, but I don't know about really good man, young man and second chance. Yeah. Uh, quite, mm. uh, Look, I, I'm a second chance man, but I think the conversation's too early. But it's, still, second, it's, it's, it's not a second chance, though. But to no, be but fair, he's still suspended for how long? To be fair, was, ages. Brad Scott was probably asked about it. It's not. I don't think he organically brought up Taron Thomas. Yeah, I know. I thought it was very... Positive talk around yeah. someone who's not playing the AFL for very disturbing reasons. I haven't seen it, but I did hear it, and I probably would have thought that... Uh, you could choose your language a little better. I, I haven't heard it, so I can't yeah. comment on what he said, but I would have said probably, yeah, I think it's a conversation for 15 weeks. or yeah. however long yeah, the suspension yeah, yeah, is so down the track. Yeah, I need to see some, what he's doing off-field to mm-hmm. become a bit of person. Yeah. Uh, Brisbane, who's got Brisbane? Uh, I've got Brisbane. All right, the mighty Brisbane Lions. So they-, they went in as underdogs, and they did a number. And they did a number as a team, mm. and then all of a sudden they looked like the Brisbane of twenty three. Mm. They looked exactly like the Brisbane, Brisbane of twenty three. It, it was weird. They had, they had a ho- horrible record at the MCG. Someone all... had a very good first quarter as well, particularly just set the foundation for a good game. Cam, Cam Rayner in the middle. Cam, oh, Cam Rayner was oh, unbelievable. You pronounce him Cam Rayner. Cam Rayner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cam Rayner had ten inside fifties, nine clearances, almost a triple double there. Just didn't quite get that tenth yeah. clearance. Uh, 
are we drinking the bath water yet? Or do we still go, oh, God, I need to see it once more? Because all of a sudden, they are back on track. And really quickly, if they get over the top of Geelong, then they get into the Giants. So that's two massives. Mm. Big ones. They Got can't to split them. Minimum split. Because all of a sudden, them. the three that they lost earlier are going to bite them fair on the they ass. They should beat Geelong at the Gabba. If they're legit... If they're back, and because Geelong, as I said, they haven't played super teams yet, yeah. so they have to win that game. So if, if, they, get, if they beat Geelong, they're back. So if I if I go to Brisbane and get into the twenty two man bath they've got there, it's a big yep. one. Put my Soda Stream bottle in there and fill it up. I like how you and I pass it. Yeah, and I pass it to you. Are, you. are you drinking it? Am I drinking what's bath, come out the of the Brisbane your... Lions bath water? <laughs> not your bath water. I'm not. No, not my own. That. That's <laughs> what I've seen this morning. The Lions. <laughs> are you drinking the bath water? Or... If they beat Geelong, yeah, they beat Geelong I will. Drink. I'll drink. I'll have a guzzle. big sip. No, a big, big guzzle. Yeah. Um, okay. And Rainer. Oh, it's funny. The two that we've been talking about, like Rainer needs Rainer or Bailing needs to go in the middle, and at Adelaide, you know, Rankin or Rochelle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then have... they both happened, and they both. Uh, won. I'll give you a hot tip. We weren't the only one saying it though. Oh no, no. I think no, I think we're the only one yeah, saying it. And I, I yeah, think pretty Chris, Chris Fagan that. listened to this. No, but podcast. I think every I think single does. footballing yeah. person who watches is like. Why is Rankin not in the yeah. midfield? We'll get to him. It is, it is funny. And why how is often Rainer? You can see it from the yeah. outside, and sometimes it feels too obvious. Uh, the Western Dogs. Bulldogs. Yeah. And we also don't know what their G, uh, GPS data says that they can't run out of sight, or. Yeah. But it's easy to throw stuff. You need to run out of the stoppage. Yeah. I really wanted to bullet the dogs as well. Um, they're about, so, Buck, do we talk about this on air or is this off air? Nathan Buckley this morning on SEN was really good mm-hmm. on it, talking about like it's either you know the list management and Bevo. And doesn't seem to be talking to each other. Like he's benching blokes that they just signed to a five year contract, like last year or the year before. Yep. Like everybody, every, it seems like everybody at the Bulldogs got different ideas. Well, is, is Bevo using the sub in a different way, but not too dissimilar to Geelong are using resting their players and not no, playing them at all? Because he's using it, like, he's using yeah. it as a, as a bullet to say you're not in form, and, and I'm, I don't care how many games you played. I reckon he's. Which I don't mind that though, to be honest. Well, it's different to anyone else's user. He's come in and gone. I don't care about your resume. You're not playing well. You're going to be. I think think that's great, coach. Or you'll be playing the VFL. But I I think the question is like, there's no one better. Like they they're down on form, but there's no one better in better form. So why like these guys are getting punished? Where's our man Riley Garcia? Well, he That's was very, very good on the weekend again. I think he probably plays this week. He's had, well, a, who knows? He's had a patch of like three weeks. You, can't, you, but it's like, you cannot well, guess the worst of He's, he's literally banging the door down. So, so. Don't get me wrong, they've, they've been uh, ordinary at times, the bullies. Yeah. But McRae lifted again, lifted, yeah. sorry, off the back of being yeah. sub. I thought he was pretty I think it would be interesting to see what Bailey Dale does Bailey Dale off the sub. back so of we, being sub. Bailey Dale, had Jack McRae, had Caleb uh, Daniel, who's now playing VFL. Um, yes. Jeez, that's a big three, isn't it? It's big that's three. Big. I mean, going and back a lot of not money. that long ago, they're three of their best seven or eight. Yeah. They're, all Australia, they're all Australians? I'm pretty sure yeah. they've all been. McRae and Dale, definitely. I think yeah, Caleb, Caleb was, was one, at least once. Um, oh, I've got to audit Nick on that. I don't know. Yeah, He was. I'm sure that? he was. But I just, I the can't, is I, I just I, quickly went through the list and went, who do I consider as absolute? Well, I say the, 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 the proof I have for this is an image in my head of him wearing a blazer. Yeah, actually, I think I can see the blazer a really, too. Yeah. A really small one. Yeah, he's a really because um, he's a good-looking fella underneath. Okay, helmet. so I've got Caleb. Sam Darcy, Hugo Hagen, Sanders, and Waitman as the four top-end talents that they've got. That are Wait, young. Go again. So go again. Sam Darcy, Hugo Hagen, Sanders, and, and Waitman. I don't well, mind O'Donnelly as a top end. Yeah, he's, he's an Australian he's, key yeah, I think he can. Wait, you're talking, about young, a, you're talking about young guys, right? Yeah, yeah. How old's O'Donnell? Oh, he must be 22. 22, 23. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Maybe not in that. The cricket thing's from All Australia 2020. 2020. There you go. Nick was right. Yeah, look at this. Mm. I, I, but I do picture the jacket. That's the only proof yeah, I have. I, I do <laughs> picture the jacket. St Kilda. on a page. St Kilda. Oh, that's me. So, so the general thinking has been with Max Gorn, obviously down in round one, but then been the dominant ruckman the whole time. Mm. But I just want, I lined up the two players, Roel Marshall and Max Gorn. Okay. Roel Marshall's outperforming He's him. He's done another one. Everything. He's got numbers again. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you. Going, he smoked something and then had a beautiful mind moment. Russell Crowe <laughs> just had numbers coming <laughs> yeah. on windows. On the chalkboard. <laughs> formulas, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. It's all coming So together. line these up. So the only thing Max Gorn is outperforming him in is hit outs. He's, he's getting about 40 a game. Roel Marshall's going about 25. Run us through some of the other numbers. So disposals, Rain Marshall man. 22, Gorn 19. Clearances, Marshall 8, Gorn 5. Inside 50s, Marshall 6, Gorn 3. Hit outs is what I said before. Tackles about even. 
and Marks, Marshall, six and a half, Gorn, five and a half. Okay, so they're, so all, everything, the, they're all the basic stats. They're all the basic ones. Yeah. Is where he's, but it's a, the clearance stuff is the thing that surprises me most. Where's he sit with the vibe? Yeah, what about vibe? I'm vibing it. Well, I'd say, I told you a general vibe about St Kilda this year is good. So the vibe out of 10 for Gorn is what? No, Gorn's are like a, like watching him out in a silo and not considering the Marshall thing. The vibe for Gorn is a nine. And what about Marshall? Marshall's probably like a nine M- and a nine half. Nine and 9.3 or something. Yeah. Slightly got him on the vibe. He's got slightly on vibes. Okay. Yeah. Right. But I think it's just, yeah, that. And that so your point, the weekend, is, your point is what? 16 clearances on the weekend. I'm just saying, I think he's getting lost in the discussion. Everyone just keeps, it's that uh, you got someone's got to take the jumper off him or the, the blazer. In the All Australian mm-hmm. conversation, and I think everyone's just assuming yeah, hey, Gorn's really good again. Gorn's all no, straight no, no, up. Marshall's but Marshall's in front. In I think front. the perception has been about Marshall that he was a numbers guy, like gets a lot of numbers, like the yeah. fantasy numbers and the stats oh, come yeah, off the page. But he almost Whereas, got enough numbers to beat. How much impact um, was he having? GWS actually on the games, but I think that conversation's changed. No, I think I think it's mm. way, I think way it's different changing. now. Yeah. He's probably their yeah. best player. St Kilda, is that yeah, fair? Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah Steele's been really good. To no, no, Marshall, Marshall's better than Steele. Yeah, no, I mean, just saying. Give yeah. Steel a Brad, Brad a Hill. Hey, Jesus, how did he go the week? He's come good. Brad Hill. There's one passage where he, he, he held it five times. Right. Marshall's got miles in front of Tim English at the moment. Yes. Uh, yeah. Collingwood coming off a bye. Yeah, I've got Collingwood. Now, listen to this next three weeks, and some of the games don't sound great, but so Port Adelaide, hmm. great game of football. Great. Must win again for Collingwood, so there's yeah. pressures, pressures still on. Then they roll into an Anzac Day clash with the Ooh, Bombers. Anything can happen. Then they roll into Carlton. Oh. So that is a brilliant three weeks of footy. they got to win too. It. And the Army needs to come out and get them going because they Ooh. were pretty poor against Hawthorne in the second half. Really poor against Hawthorne in the second Ooh. half before the bye. Nick Dacos, I think you let just run wild. He has to go back to that role, doesn't he? Because it's no, but I think too, not working. The opposition let him do it because I am so wary about what Jordan Dugo is about to do. Oh, I reckon he's just he worked into it. He was yeah. ginormous against Hawthorne. A buy freshen up. Yep. A big three weeks. So Drew this, has this week Jordan goes Dugo-y, to Dugoey. 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 Yep. yep. If Dacos runs around and has 35, he's a great footballer. Well done. Should have won the Bravo last year. Yep. But his 35 v yeah. Day, uh, Dugoey's 27. Mm. I know that I know the twenty seven. I'd rather stop. Every yeah. it's like every touch to go he has has an impact. I mean, the only person whereas whereas Dacos about... can have a few, which are just yeah. the, well, like, but, transitions. But you also sort of assume that, uh, and, and again, Nick Dacos, I love him. I think he's fantastic. You don't need. It's like um, the racing on the weekend when Pride of Jenny was ninety one meters in front. You, you didn't need to look what was going on behind. You just knew what was happening. It was to go when the ball goes. I know something good's happened. So he's mm. pride of Jenny. He's pride of Jenny. Okay. I just know he's he's a front runner. He's a leader. Like you just, he's just not going to cook it. He's got whereas Dacos can do a little. Everyone gets a bit of a touch. Yeah, and, yeah gotcha. Yeah, yeah gotcha. and then it, it, it comes off nine times out of ten. Yep. To go, I know forward half. Did you have something. some money on pride of Jenny? Did you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> in the run. <laughs> have you not seen this race? No. Uh, no. One I'm, of the best races I've ever seen. Don't get into horse racing too much. Oh man, she's. She said one by 90, 90 it meters. It was in front by ninety-one meters in the biggest race of the day. Oh, ninety-one. Anyway, uh, to go, stop the go. I think let Dacos go wild. Okay. Uh, the Adelaide Crows, uh, well, I had, I had Isaac Rankin down there, 23 touches, three goals. Hello. That was his little moment. Hopefully that's the wake-up call for the season for him because it was a very slow start to the year. Um, Shout-out to Mitch Hinge as well, one of our men. We like we, Mitch Hinge. We did identify Hasn't last year. Hasn't he been dropped and in and out? And... Huh? No, he's, he's just been no, going he's... no good. <laughs> he's been going no good. Who, They've Hinge? all been going no he's good. He's been okay. Oh. Mate, in a very ordinary team, he's been all right. Oh. I would have thought. No? Okay, okay. Okay. Well, he's named the team of the week this year, this week. Who's? Uh, Campbell Browns. No. Oh. Well, yeah, I think we had Brownie up there. I had to call up with Brownie on Friday. Did you? Yeah. Was he over here, was he? Yeah, he did a sporty. Yeah, okay. The dog. That would have been a big night. No, he's not, not a big drinker, Brownie. Oh, really? One of the great misconceptions. Yeah. yeah. No, not, not a drinker really okay. at all. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so, Matty Crouch out for a week. They're not fighting the charge. So this is yeah. interesting because I think we've kind of been waiting for the mix-up in the midfield, right? Yeah. The Laird, yeah, Dawson, Crouch. Just Dawson's is just... Yes. That's what i got here. So well, Dawson, he's the one who was kind of pushed out on the weekend, Well, he's he? five touches less a game than last year. Uh, he's down about a mark and a half. Mm. Tackles are the same, but his impact is way off. Way off. So, I think people have done more work on him now because the midfield change was like halfway I through last year. I just think there's the wrong right? mix around him. So if you're looking, if you're standing in that midfield and you're going, all right, we've got Lee, we've got Crouch, with Dawson. All right, let's make sure Dawson doesn't kill us. And those other. He's blokes running around like he's got osteoarthritis pubis. It's it's like, really yeah. odd. It's really, but that's, his speed has never been his go. No, he no, needs but the he, space. Yeah, but he's not around the footy. No. Oh, so I'm hoping that this week. 
We crouch out. We see a shift in that Adelaide middle. I have middle. absolutely zero idea, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's carrying something pretty significant. Yeah, it doesn't he, look he can't right, go yeah. from. Yeah. We thought he was a top five midfielder in the comp. Yep. To not playing in a side's midfield who were Norton four at the time. Yeah. Not even just top five midfield. I mean, we had him as a, probably a top ten player. Didn't yeah. We? Yeah. Um, who have they got this week? I'm trying to. Trying to have a look at it. Do you want me to help you out here? Yeah, help me out. Uh, the Crows have... Oh, the Bombers. Friday night footy. I will I will officially apologise to Essendon if they get over the Crows here. I Crows think. can't lose that, can they? Mm, hope They're not. done if they lose that, mm. honestly. Uh, who we got now? Uh, we're on to... Oh, now I'm looking at the things. Uh, Richmond. So this is where Oof. all my research comes undone because I, just, I looked at that. I looked Did, up I, at that game sometimes and I genuinely didn't know half those players. Can I tell you... Can I ask, with the over-under, did any of us go over? I don't think so. In for yeah, Richmond, oh. in the hour over under, nine and a half was the wins. I'd locked the under. I remember. Yeah, that. I don't know. I danced around with yeah. Tom Lynch return. Yeah, I fell. No, I, 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 I took the West Coast tablet. I fell for Tom Lynch was going to be back. Presti oh. was going to be back. Hopper yeah, was going to be yeah, back. All these thirty three year olds are going to come in. Yeah. Uh, Grimes is going to be back. I fell. I took it. I, yep. that was, I just kept yeah. drinking it. You did. But, uh, I do. There's some like. Some gems in the gloom. That Ben Miller down back, the tall yeah. forward, is at least looking okay. Yeah, West Aussie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Kalgooly. Yeah, Kalgooly boy. Only yeah. had six kicked on him yesterday, but yeah. He, well, that's, <laughs> was he playing a lot? Apart from that. Was he? At times. For, the whole time. For, 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 He's for, learning for the position. Uh, okay, but anyway, <laughs> I was just, just going to do a handball. That's a way to put it. Give us the yeah. Liam Baker. Uh, well, so Liam Baker, he's out. Of, he's free agent? He's, no, no? Well, no, he's just out of contract. Just out of contract. Um, so... Richmond obviously want to keep him. I think Adam Uze said two weeks ago, we'll give him whatever blank, it takes to keep him there. And they yeah. love him. Leadership group. And he's just one of those players. That, and you saw it yesterday a couple of times. He, he makes things happen. He's mm. tough. He's, I will say, though, and I know it's um, he's there because they have significant injuries to the midfield. Yeah. But he's not He's not in a no, top no, midfield. No. That's not his go. No. His go is to be well, I think a he's play, I think he's, he's, a glue, he's a very good glue guy. Is he player 10 on a good team, Baker? Oh, 10 to 15, I think. But yeah, sorry, okay. Yeah, as long I, as we're not putting you up no, as a top no, five no, 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 team. No, no, no. But if you're a team But at the moment, he has to be a top five, and that's... He does. And yeah. it, But if you're, say... Cause so my understanding is Fremantle, very, very keen, and they'd be probably ahead of West Coast. Well, they got three Richmond's ahead not, of, after, not after yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Richmond's ahead of everyone, yeah. Yeah. right? They, they're most likely to sign him, but then I would say it's Fremantle. And I would say for Fremantle, if you're looking at it going, geez, we need someone who is tough, who can do the little stuff, who can also... Would they be playing him as a Finals experience. He's perfect for them. Half forward, forward, they'd be playing him? I'd be playing him. Roll through half the middle. Back, half back. forward, whatever. Just, he's everywhere. He's a glue guy. Like do, you. do Richmond have the kahunas to make changes? As in, oh, what else can they do? Well, well just meander along. Got, well, no, West Coast that's one thing we're not, I'm not wrong, we're not wrong on yet. No, we're not wrong at all. No, <laughs> and yes, that was proven the pudding. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Who's up? West Coast. West Coast. Uh, is it me? West Coast, okay. Well, we have to... Third we, for third last. We have to give the West Coast Eagles, as a football club, their flowers. Jeez, yeah. That first 15 uh, minutes AFL was a bit side. of a worry. Mate, so sitting with Embers, he was like, this is the, this is the worst we've seen it. Yeah. Of any game. In that first... I think they keep first plate, four. First four. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Uh, again, and depleted Richmond, as you mentioned. in the yeah. crowd on level five. Yeah. I brought my kids along. And oh my God, the comments from the punters! Correct. It was. I thought the place was going to get. <laughs> so down. they went in. Earmuffs. They went in at uh, half time with sixty eight points. Yeah. Over the last two seasons and this start of this little season, so two thousand twenty two, three, and this season, how many times have they kicked less than sixty eight points game? in a game? In how many games? Let's say twenty five games. Well, two seasons. So, oh, so yeah. back to back seasons. Forty two. Okay, so in the last 44? fifty, I reckon yeah. they've probably gone over sixty eight twice. Well, no, nah, it's led 27 times they kicked under 68 points. Oh. 27 times. Wow. Under 68. In and a they game, went, not a half. In a game. And they went at half time with 68 on the board. Yeah. And they, funnily enough, the stat could have been so much better, but there was like 69, 69, 69, uh, 70. They just got to 72. But 27 in, yeah. in two seasons. Time, they've and kicked, get there at half time. Yeah. And they get there at half time. Jake Waterman, Harley yeah. Reid was exceptional. Elliot Yo, this version of Elliot Yo yeah. is. We've got a question about him in the mailbag. So okay, I'll we'll leave dive it. into Elliot Yo, but far out, he's looking good. Mm. And and what he. But now this he, is a dilemma. Do you, do you trade yeah. him? Well, it was when he was at his prime. Was he under? I would. I said trade him last year. Well, I think for potentially best of both because he hadn't played. But. I think potentially underrated East Coast wise. Yeah. I think over here he was pretty highly rated. Do you reckon still? I don't reckon club champion. Yeah, I know that, but I still don't reckon people during twice their prime champion, had him right? top f- twice. Had him top. You know. Yeah. They probably would have had Kennedy. I, I they know, would have had the Kra. And I, I know you've been, you've been on the trade him, get the asset. No, I, but that was all he hadn't played for two years yeah. as a fresh start. Watching him and watching what it's doing for Harley. 
Yeah. yeah. It, you can just see there's already this like, oh, you're a big tough bastard. I'm a big, I yeah. want to be a big tough bastard. And they're, they're rolling together. Jeez, he was special, Yoey. He, and tagged yeah, last excellent. week at Gather Round 2. There was sometime. that patch of Harley Reid yesterday, which was serious. Third that quarter. Was, yeah. 12 touches in the third. I think 13 in the end. Was, was it? it? Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was a lot. But I will say, just really quickly, they were on their knees, West Coast, early. And they needed to score. And yeah. I don't know if you know how they got their scores. Harley Reid broke a Baker tackle that's from right. a stoppage. Mm, yeah. First goal, second goal, crumb, goal. Yep. And all of a sudden, that's what the momentum started. the same started. thing against Sydney last and week. And I don't want to give him too much love because he's just out of control. Was it's, that the one where he ran around Nank and said, oh, actually, I'm faster than you? No, 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 different one. Exten- different one. We, we extended a bit there, didn't we? Well. All right, let's go uh, Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Uh, I think it's me. Mate, Dave, it's getting really hard to look for positives here. I'm going to rattle off the guys that I was excited about to start the season. Yeah, okay. You tell me if any of them have shown anything exciting at all. Yeah. Connor McDonald. Oh, playing unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> James Sicily. No, d- d- he's the main one because, again, we've spoken about Dawson in his, Dawson's role. Yeah. Mm. For mine, Sicily's that. Yeah. It just, by far and away, their best player should just dominate and, just down. and down. John Newcomb. Yeah, what's going on there? No, I think I think he's a second or third banana. I think I've I've thought that. Yeah, but he's a, he's a better he's a better second or third banana than he's playing currently. No, he's like playing, he just, no but I think he, he certainly needs out. stay back to give him some. Mm. Weddle. But, mm. Yeah, it's the second year. Mackenzie, shine nothing. Hasn't. Yeah, nothing. And yeah. Ward, Josh Ward. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to throw too much shade at the kids. I know. But they, I, I know they, haven't, but they haven't really launched and, into and the even, year. And I'm going to give Dylan Moore a pass at the moment because he had that glandular fever. He's, play, he's, he's been okay. Yeah, he's been but okay in moments. I'm just looking at the injury list. Luke Bruce, Will give me Day, one po- give me one positive. CJ, Mitch Lewis, Nick Watson, Chad Wingard. Have you got any positives? Anything at all? Anything you can draw out of this shit show of a start? Mm. One thing. Give me one thing. <laughs> <laughs> He can't. Why are you doing this? You to You get me? the number one pick. Oh, well, he's halfway there. You get the the wheeze on the on the shorts. Now he's going to do the poos. The poos and wheeze. Oh, it's What's... actually an interesting like race for the number one pick here between Hawthorne, North Melbourne, and it's West a, it's, Coast. It's a bit early for that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they're going to be the three in contention, right? Nick's like gonna, who? No, nah, we'll day back in no, two I'm weeks. Just a watch on it. CJ back in a week. Mitch Lewis back in a week. Chad Wingard in three. Yeah. Uh, they, they'll they'll separate themselves from those bottom two. I just, just. can't see mm. anything. Mix it up. Connor McDonald in the middle or something. Okay, I'll uh, ring Mitch then. Just can you? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Don't, stop, look, don't complain to me We've got to watch it. these games. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to watch these games. Uh, North, North Melbourne. Melbourne. So she's a big game on the sheet. Finished with 38. Is that and all? And a goal. <laughs> Is that all? How many do you think of those were contested? Uh, 38 and a goal. I'll say uh, six. I'd say 15. Seven. Wow. Which is kind of the, I mean, we this was off the pod, you reckon? We talked about this. But it was uh, like, is this good for him anymore? Like he's getting, we know he can do this. That's we fine. spoke about last week that, a bit like Hawthorne, he yeah. said throw he said, throw McDonald in the midfield. Put it, put him in the put mid. Because guess what? He might have 25. And then all of a sudden go, well, so, we've got 25 touches in the midfield we didn't have. Yeah. So I asked, pre-season I did an interview with Harley Reid, and I asked him about, Sheasel in the Dacos role. You're the halfback? And, yeah, and the, like, because that was some Did of the Did the camera make its way to Harley Reid at all, or no, just like, well, no, no, yeah, we couldn't use it because it was couldn't on see his answer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> Apparently, Harley Reid well, was there. Yeah, there was a lot sure. of talk about the halfback, right? Because he was going to play halfback. Yeah. And I sort of insinuated, hey, it's like Sheasel mm. and Dacos. And the way he answered it, like, he sort of said, oh, look, I'm, it's not really the way I play. Mm. I, like, I, I'd sort of. Well, he's not suited. He's more, he needs to be in congestion. Yeah, mm. and, and I think the problem with Sheasel is the same as a Dacos. Is it, is this. Is this what they're best at? And does that mean they can't be how, the how dynamic do we know? mid? How do we know? Yeah, we've got to see. Well, I don't look at Sheasel and think he's powerful. No, but how do we know that he... But I look at... Yeah, but you, don't need, you, you need some silk in there, too. Yeah, I, I look at Scott, I look at yeah. Scott Pendlebury. Yeah. I look at... Um, so where would you want to see Sheas? He's playing in the middle. On the guts. On the guts? For, in for, the guts? For six, I'd, I'd for six like weeks. to see him play. You're talking fantasy, though. No, I'd like to see him play <laughs> the role that Errol... Played in his oh, first couple well, yeah, of years, yeah, yeah. half forward pushing in because I feel like if anyone could do it and find space, he's got that in him. Yeah, I, but you're getting someone following you there. I, I, I personally stick just in the LDU, um, Sheasel, Wardlaw, mm. Wardlaw's, Wardlaw's also been as well down. He's back. Like I don't. McCurch has been down. Yeah, McCurch was drafted as a midfielder. Him, but yeah, who? I think someone said that when they were saying like, oh, North Melbourne to get the number one pick. Be like, well, number one pick. Best midfielder in the comp, get ready to play halfback. Yeah. So yeah. McCurch, is, he did move in towards the middle, but... Yeah. But still, like, yeah, yeah. Very early yesterday. You'd, you'd rather have Silk 
forward half of the ground, right? If you want, you want. They don't have a lot of like special. I don't hate it. I just don't. I don't think we're seeing all of it. I don't. Him. I don't. I don't. Look, he's yeah. just, that's he's, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, hey, we've got a, a second year player getting thirty eight touches. Do you want it or yeah. not? Yeah. yeah. Of course you, you want it. You yeah. Take it. But I just think his yeah his confidence is up enough now. Like he doesn't need the big number. Nah. That's the two minute warning for this week. This has been the Hardball Gets AFL Show. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be back with the mailbag. We'll see you then.